Why is meditation so popular these days? I think there are two or three key reasons. You know, meditation really um, uh, was revived in the world as a popular practice throughout the world beginning in 1968 when the Beatles learned meditation in India from Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. And if you're propagating an idea, there is no greater public relations coup possible, I would say, than teaching the Beatles meditation. Immediately, the world knew about it and a whole generation wanted to know about it and practice it. So that was the first big rush, you could say. Of course, there was meditation um, in India and Thailand and China and Tibet and many uh, countries, in fact, many countries of the world long before that. But it, in terms of it becoming popular in the modern world, the Beatles were a critical breakthrough and, and their learning meditation. After that, there was the, you know, the hippie sort of revolution, if you like, and, and with that came many different types of meditation and yoga practices. But what's happened more recently, in the last, you can say, I think three or four years, is uh, a big breakthrough in brain research. Now that we have fMRI scanners and we can get some idea of what's going on in different regions of a living brain, and we can combine that with EEG data, we can actually uh, begin to measure the effects of meditation. And what's coming out of that is thousands of studies demonstrating uh, really objectively the powerful benefits of meditation. And this is convincing the community that regards science as their religion effectively. So the tech you know, the tech world, everybody who's using technology or the tech industry, I do a lot of work with them teaching meditation, uh, the academic world, they're becoming convinced that this really works because the evidence is incontrovertible. The other thing that's driving it, or one of the other things that's driving it, is the acute need for a way of dealing with increasing levels of stress. So again, the technology industry has come up with all sorts of new ways to keep our minds busy, to distract ourselves with iPads and iPhones and devices and Facebook and all these things. And it's making people crazy. <laughs> it's making people incredibly distracted, makes it more difficult for them to focus. So they need to manage their stress more than ever. They need to learn how to concentrate more than ever and to be in the present more than ever. So this is a good time for meditation to be demonstrated to be a, you know, an effective way of doing that without a lot of the negative side effects that you might get from, from drugs. So I think it's an interesting meeting or convergence of circumstances that there's this ac acute, obvious need for something like meditation and there is really clear proof that meditation works as a very healthy way of dealing with this kind of stress-related problems. And it's, it's exploding. I mean, I've seen, um, uh, I've got a big list of companies that teach meditation on their campuses. About 25% of US corporations have meditation programs on their campuses already. And that's growing very quickly. And uh, then in the academic world, Hollywood, it's been around for a while. There are, there are many, many movie stars, um, business moguls, politicians, humanitarians, sports stars, all kind of people are using meditation as a way to enhance what they're doing and to be better at what they're doing with their minds.